Elixir and the Sabres going back to the Stanley Cup. We got also, we got Yankees Red Sox update and we got lots of stuff there. G passing Roger Hornsby, we'll get to that. And Aaron getting back in his place and we also got a Masters update. You do not want to miss that. Louis Medina stopping by. Joe Garcia Show was here. Welcome back to the Joe Garcia Show on YCRN. Music coming up in just a minute. Uh, let's start with the Yankees. They're up over the Red Sox 5 to 2. There we go. There's our music. Now, the Red Sox, they won yesterday. And that was pretty awful. That was pretty awful. That, that was horrible for the Yankees because Phil Hughes, again, another poor outing. His velocity's just been off. And I, I don't know what's up with him. Um, Yankees are up 5 to 2 right now. Ivan Nova going 3 2 3 so far. 2 in 3 Ks. And Russell Martin. Russell Martin in the top of the fourth. Uh, Clay Buckholz. One and one, with no outs, two on, going with a three run shot. And Russell Martin getting his second of his, of in the Yankees, and Dick Jr. was caught stealing early on. So, uh, the, and A Rod hitting a home run yesterday. He now was three, 615 on the year. That, the three on the year, 616 for his career. That is pretty impressive. We just finished up our Call of Duty dodgeball game in the gym, and our cameraman Alex, he got whooped. And when I mean whooped, if if you look at, well, I wish we had a slow-mo, but just his glasses and his eyes were like, Phew. So, that was pretty pretty impressive. We're gonna take a show watching it. Uh, we're gonna talk more about the Sabres in a little bit when William Medina comes in in just a couple minutes. But they won last night over the Sabres 4-3. We're going to hear from Rick Jarrett, right? His call from last night. And that was a really good call, by the way. And um, we're also going to get... It was really impressive what they did with Joe Crozier and Gil Perot and um, Rene Robert carrying out the jersey of the late Rick Martin. And Joe Crozier has got to be about 85. They had to carry him out, and unbelievable. But if, if you were alive, for, if, if you were around 40 years ago, like Alex, I'm just joking. Uh, he's pretty young, actually. 32, single, please. Okay. Anyway, um, but if you were alive, if you were around 40 years ago, and you saw the French Connection, they were just unbelievable. It's like it was like Sidney Crosby and Alex Ovechkin, and um. Patrick Kane on the same line. That's how really good they were. Uh, Powerville scored 21st. Nathan Gerby scoring twice for his six, you know, 16 of the year. And Thomas Fagg has 32. Jessica Dumont won at, uh, here in NT. She's from NT. She won the 7th man of the year. So congratulations to her. And I'm not sure who won the raffle. But if I won the raffle, first off, I would... Donate some of the money to you so that they can get some more impressive stuff. And then, if I had to pick someone's jersey, I would pick Nathan Gurby. Because, one, he's a good player. And two, I'm not calling you short or anything. But, I think it could possibly fit me. But, I mean, the rest, I'm not calling you short. I mean, you're a heck of a player, Nathan. And um, thanks for watching the show. And, it, that, that was a really good game last night. Coming, they coming down three to two. They get retired with 9:57 left in the third, and then going into overtime. Thomas Vanek with the steal. We can get the video on that. Thomas Vanek with the steal, and then getting it. And, and Louis Diaz waiting outside, just hanging in there, big buddy. Saber signing Sean Sidlowski to a three-year contract. He had four fighting majors in the OHL. The Ontario Hockey League. So it looks like Buffalo, we got another fire. Coming up after the break, we got William Medina coming in. We're going to talk about the budget cuts. 
We're gonna, they might be coming by five and freshmen, and hopefully the people in Albany are listening to this because we kids have something to say here at NT because we need our sports. And we're going to talk about May Ramirez retiring. He could have faced a 100 game suspension. We'll get more on that. And we're going to talk about the Sabres game. Joker's going to show why Sabres will be right back. Joker's going to show why Sabres will be right back. The Yankees are up over the Red Sox now. 5 to 4. Ivan Nova is getting thrown around like a rag doll right now. Four in, going to 4 8, 6 hits, 4 runs, 4 in. And only three strikeouts. His ERA right now is 6.3. No idea what this song is, by the way, but Louie knows it. <laughs> good to have you on the show, Louie. It's good to be on. It's good to be here, Joe. I enjoy coming on the show and being with this. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so the. The Sabres won last night, four to three in overtime. Did you watch the game or go to the game? Uh, no, I did not watch the game. So this you, is why you're you, here. So. But you missed a good game, by the way. Um, Grammy scoring twice back with the game winner, and it, it was a very um tributing moment. It was a very touching moment for the fans. And um, Gil Pro, Renee Robert, and Joe Crozier coming out with the jersey of Rick Martin and the rest of the guys were there and Rob Ray almost missed his call but they came out you didn't see that so you wouldn't know but um mm -hmm. let's talk about Manny Ramirez he retires due to possibly facing a hundred game suspension now last year he tested positive for I believe the ster the drug policy test positive at 50 game suspension with the Dodgers and he could have faced 100 game suspension because he tested positive again. Louis, well, what is with all this drug and steroid stuff? How does it affect sports? Well, steroids is the one thing you don't want to do when you're playing sports. It's the one thing that will get you. The one thing. The one thing that will mess up completely with the whole sports thing where everyone thinks you're a liar and stuff like that. So that's the one reason that people don't take you like seriously because you're looped in the head a little bit. And um, so, yeah, that's why steroids isn't good for sports. How, like in Congress and Bud Seal, like, they're trying to rule it out, but for the past 20 years, it's been hanging over their heads. It's been hanging over their heads because, you know, Barry Bonds, he's now in trial, and Roger Clemens, he's going to be in trial this summer. And, you know, A-Rod almost got in trouble, but he said he was naive, quote, unquote. Mm -hmm. And um, he said and he was only like, now he has 615 home runs, or 616, sorry. And, a lot of people actually, even lots of Yankee fans, I know a few Yankee fans, and Dan Walter is one of those guys, he doesn't, he used to like him, but now he doesn't. And here's why, because he took steroids and he got away with it. And you know, I, I, and Nick Krause, our baseball hits, he wished, you know, if he, if, you know, A-Rod would take off like maybe 10 home runs, like, or I would think a little more, but take off a few home runs, you know, so that it's fair. Because some of those, like, some of those 660 home runs, they could have been hit when he took steroids. They're yeah. not really sure. Yeah, definitely. This, uh, it's all, like, most of those are probably from steroids. So I think that would be an even bad. So I don't think that's a good idea. All right, let's, let's switch topics now because... Alex is giving us the mean look. Um, th this is a rated G show, just to let you know. But there are some stuff that, you know, get your parents' permission, of course. You know, we don't want to get in trouble with the law. Yeah. We don't, the anti are can't afford money for us to get yeah. sued. Uh -huh. So, um, <laughs> anyway, um, now let's go to the budget cuts. There, I, I was reading the timeline news today. Yes, I do read the newspaper. And um, I read the comics mostly, but I, I I I read other stuff. I read the sports, and the one thing that caught my eye, the one thing that caught my eye, is said 
is they're saying uh, that they're possibly going to be calling all modified, all freshman sports. So that means for all you jacks out there watching, no football next year for some of the eighth graders and ninth graders. If the freshmen are watching, and Louie, you you can't do that. You you just can't. Yeah. Because modified is the learning process of the game. You can't learn football in the JV and varsity level. Modified's the way to get up in there. So. Yeah, I mean, I would get caught in the freshman, but then again, then you would only have six teams. You would only have, I believe, I, I read it was St. John's, Canisius. And um, I believe four teams, and I think that Kenton's cutting it too. But you need the modified teams, and remember, this is North Carolina. Football is their main thing. Yeah. It is their main thing, other than their huge drum club, their choral, and their music department. But I mean, they, they need modified just as we need. They, we need modified and freshmen as much as we need the music department, mm -hmm. as we said last week. Mm -hmm. It's um. I wouldn't be surprised if some people from NT, they decide to make some posters and walk up to, they walk up to Albany and they start a protest, they start a riot, which I hope they don't, because I, I, I like riots, actually. <laughs> um, we got up there at the Yankees game, Yankees winning 7-4, to four. Curtis Granderson getting a second home run in the top of the fifth of Frederick Dobot. 3-2 pitch with one on and no outs. He hits a shot and a three-run They get it, and now it's 7-2-4. I mean, it, it is ridiculous because, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, it like you said, it is the beginning process because if we want to win some more championships for the high school, mm -hmm. you got to have the 7th graders and 8th graders and the ninth graders that you gotta have them have some experience before sending them out there in those pets. Yeah, this is, that's the learning, that's the whole piece of the puzzle right there, it's not fine. That's the beginning of the life of sports, pretty much. So, I just hope they don't cut it, so. And, I mean, it, it's gonna, it's not only gonna affect us here in NT, it's gonna affect the. It's gonna affect Western New York mm -hmm. worldwide. It's gonna. It's gonna affect Tawana. It, it's gonna affect every city that you can name. Mm -hmm. It's gonna affect it because it's gonna affect my five and it's gonna affect freshmen. We're gonna take a quick break, Bluey. Hang on, Joe Gershon Show West here. Yep, we're Cash Money Heroes. <laughs> Who comes up with the name Birdman? That's my question. Jigger Tissue, Why Sheeran, <laughs> with Louis Medina. We got a good show going on. And hopefully people in Albany will watch this show sooner or later. Because th th we have, we may only be 12 and 13 year olds. And maybe even 10 year olds. But just to let you know guys, up in Albany, we have something to say with these budget cuts. We're, we're not... We're not scared to say our opinions here at NT, so just let's hear, just hear us out for a minute. Um, we the Yankees still up seven to four, top of the fifth. Um, it's it's a good game right now actually, and um, yeah, it, it's been it, just looking online, it's been pretty impressive, and I mean Ivan Nova. Yeah, a rough time right now, but they're starting to produce some runs. So, um, Louie, this the Eastern Conference final. Well, well, first, let's talk about the um, next year for my fight, if there is any. What do you guys have to work on? Um, well, for football, we have to work on. We're going to expand big time. We're going to be faster and hopefully stronger. And we're going to get more passing plays instead of running. So hopefully, we, I think from the process right now, I think we have a pretty winning team. So I hope we Tr can keep that. Trigger Champ Show, YCRN. Let's look at the Eastern Conference um, in the NHL. The Sabres are in seventh place. They're tied with Montreal points-wise with 94. A win in a Montreal loss could get the Sabres into sixth. 
And according to my research, I believe that right now they would be facing Pittsburgh because it's four and seven. And um, but if they win, they would face Boston. I think that the Sabres this year they have the strength to actually win over Boston in the playoffs. Yeah, they just gotta keep it going and just keep that the team we're going, and then you'll know, manage to get to the Stanley Cup. I hope. Let's look at the other playoff matchups. Possibly, if Carolina wins tonight, then I believe that the Rangers will be knocked out, but we're not sure. Washington right now is face would be facing the Rangers. The Flyers would be. I'm sorry. I mean, if right now the Sabres are in seventh place, and if Montreal loses tonight, they'd be in sixth. But right now, Buffalo is matched up against the Flyers. And uh, Boston is up against Montreal, but the six and seven and eight they could switch tonight. So next week we'll get you your our update on that. Um, Pittsburgh right now um, would be taking on Buffalo. Uh, otherwise, and then um, Tampa Bay would be taking on Montreal. Um, so I mean, we it's gonna be exciting this year. And the Blackhawks in the Western Conference, they've just been awful. In eighth place, they could possibly miss the playoffs. I mean, come on, you, you guys were the Stanley Cup champions, but they got rid of, they let Niemi go, they let Berfugin, Berfugin go, I think that's how you say it. Dustin B, did you say that? Uh, he's letting him go. So, I don't know, it, it's going to be really exciting. You're going to watch a couple of the games, right? Yeah, I'll go watch, I'll watch the games. I'll see all the, the 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 awesomeness in hockey. So yeah. <laughs> the awesomeness. The awesomeness. Yep. Um, before we go, we, we, just to get all you Buffaloians out there, we are going to play an old song from Stopping Tom Cotters, and hopefully everyone knows this one. We're gonna play the hockey song. So if you know it.